Now I probably got some other group pissed off at me because I said fruit. There's a different group to get pissed off at you in this country for everything you're not supposed to say. Can't say fruit, can't say faggot, can't say queer, can't say Nancy boy, can't say pansy. Can't say nigger, boogie, jig, jigaboo, skinhead, jungle bunny, mooly, moolignan, or schwatzer. Can't say yid, heeb, zeeb, kike, maki, uh, dago, guinea, wop, ginzo, greaser, greaseball, spick, beaner, oye, tiger, pr, mick, donkey, turkey, limey, frog, squarehead, kraut, jerry, hun, chink, jap, nip, slope, slopehead, zip, zipperhead, gook. There is absolutely nothing wrong. There is absolutely nothing wrong with any of those words in and of themselves. They're only words. It's the context that counts. It's the user. It's the intention behind the words that makes them good or bad. The words are completely neutral. The words are innocent. I get tired of people talking about bad words and bad language. Bullshit. It's the context that makes them good or bad. The context that makes them good or bad. For instance, you take the word nigger. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the word nigger in and of itself. It's the racist asshole who's using it that you ought to be concerned about. We don't care when Richard Pryor or Eddie Murphy say it. Why? Because we know they're not racist. They're niggers. <laughs> Context. Context. We don't mind their context because we know they're black. Hey, I know I'm Whitey the Blue-Eyed Devil, Patty Ofey, Gray Boy, Honky Motherfucker myself. <laughs> Don't bother my ass. They're only words. You can't be afraid of words that speak the truth. Even if it's an unpleasant truth, like the fact that there's a bigot and a racist in every living room on every street corner in this country.